Good happy Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Friday afternoon edition of Coronavirus Disease COVID-19, What You Need to Know. Let's begin this Friday afternoon edition right now. First up, Governor Chris Sununu is holding a COVID-19 briefing right now. There are 4,386 known coronavirus cases in New Hampshire, officials say. Health officials announced nine additional deaths related to COVID-19 in New Hampshire, 101 new cases. Two deaths individuals younger than 60 years of age. Let's take a listen to that video from WR News 9. These are truly challenging times, but New Hampshire companies are here and open for business. Hi, I'm Bill Gurney from Gurney's Automotive Repair. I just and tonight, 101 new cases of COVID-19 are being confirmed here in New Hampshire. I'm Tom Griffith. That brings total known cases now to more than 4,300. 1,424 of those are current cases. There are nine new deaths to report today, including two people under the age of 60. Six of those deaths are connected to long-term care facilities. Now, since the pandemic began, 232 people in New Hampshire have died. That is about 5% of the people who tested positive. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And now let's talk about your COVID-19 in New Hampshire information what you need to know. Let's take a look at that right now. And here is a look at that COVID-19 information, what you need to know. There are 4,386 number of people in New Hampshire have tested positive for COVID-19. 1,768,461 number of people in the United States who have tested positive. 232 number of deaths from COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 438 number of people who have been hospitalized with COVID-19 in New Hampshire. And 103, 330 number of deaths from COVID-19 in the United States. This map of New Hampshire right here shows you where current cases of COVID-19 are. Manchester, 442. This map of New Hampshire shows you where total cases of COVID-19 are. Manchester, 1109. And now let's take a look at these three cases here in New Hampshire. Let's start with the first one. New cases each day in New Hampshire. In the purple, daily new positive COVID-19 cases. In the orange, new hospitalizations. And in the red are the deaths. And now let's take a look at current cases in New Hampshire. The purple total current COVID-19 cases and in the orange current hospitalizations. And now let's take a look at total cases in New Hampshire. In the purple total COVID-19 cases, in the orange total hospitalizations, in the red deaths, and in the blue recovered. And now let's take a look at this graph here, age group of cases. female and male of cases, and risk information. And now let's take a look at this chart here. Race slash ethnicity of cases, hospitalization, death, and percent of New Hampshire population. And your common symptoms, fever, lack of smell, cough, chills, and difficult breathing. How it spreads. And prevention tips. Now let's take a look at the coronavirus for the rest of the world. CDC cites evidence of limited early spread in 
U.S. early 2020. The U.S. has more than 1.7 million diagnosed COVID-19 cases. Today's biggest developments. NYC on track to begin reopening on June 8th. North Carolina asks RNC questions on coronavirus prevention safety. And first known case of MISC reported in Wisconsin. And that is your coronavirus COVID-19 what you need to know information right here on the Right Linking Network. Thank you for watching this Friday afternoon edition. Have a great rest of your Friday and have a wonderful weekend. See you back here on Monday for another edition of Coronavirus COVID-19 What You Need to Know. Goodbye everyone.